Scientists are using ancient DNA to uncover the history of Easter Island, also known as Rapa Nui, a remote island in the Pacific Ocean. Rapa Nui never experienced a catastrophic population collapse, according to an analysis of ancient DNA from 15 former inhabitants. The analysis suggests that the island's inhabitants reached the Americas in the 1300s, long before Columbus's 1492 voyage. Settled by Polynesian seafarers 800 years ago, Rapa Nui, now part of Chile, features monumental stone heads and a rich history. Geographer Jared Diamond's 2005 book, Collapse, used Easter Island as an example of societal destruction due to resource exploitation. However, this theory is contentious, with other evidence indicating a sustainable, small population. This new analysis is the first to use ancient DNA to explore whether Easter Island experienced a self-inflicted societal collapse. Researchers sequenced the genomes of 15 former residents from the Musée de l'Homme in Paris. They found no evidence of a genetic bottleneck, contradicting theories of a steep population decline. The study suggests the population steadily increased until the 1860s, when Peruvian slave raiders removed one-third of the inhabitants. There is definitely not a strong population collapse, said study co-author J. Victor moreno Mayar. The genomes indicated gene exchange with Native Americans, suggesting a crossing to South America between 1250 and 1430. Around 6% to 11% of the genomes traced back to coastal South American ancestors. This finding aligns with oral histories and DNA analysis of present-day islanders and sweet potato remains from South America. Lisa Madisu Smith of the University of Otago noted the reluctance to discard cataclysmic stories about Easter Island. The ancient genomes support the idea that the self-inflicted population collapse is a false narrative. Polynesian voyagers, the original settlers of Rapa Nui, were among the world's greatest navigators. Their ancestors navigated the vast Pacific, finding habitable islands and likely reaching South America. Madisu Smith emphasized that Pacific scholars questioned the ecocide narrative based on archaeological evidence. Now, ancient DNA provides direct evidence to address these questions, supporting a realistic narrative of the island's history. A June study using satellite imagery of agricultural land reached similar conclusions. The remains for the DNA analysis were collected by French and Swiss scholars in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The circumstances of the remains collection are unclear, but they reflect a trend of colonial era collecting. Researchers collaborated with Rapa Nui communities and governments to obtain consent for the study. The scientists hope the results will aid in repatriating the remains for reburial on the island.